Hi everybody, my name is Hannah, this is Pepper and Pine, and I have a tutorial to share with you today. We are reading through this book called Turn This Book Into a Beehive by Lynn Burnell, and it is wonderfully packed with so many great activities and projects, including turning the entire book into a beehive. So you take off the back cover, and that's going to be the beehive. It also comes with a lot of paper so that you can make the little tubes for the bees. So my son is 13 and my daughter is 8, and this is a project we did together as part of our B unit. You can find more information about this project and the rest of our unit on the blog post that accompanies this website. That link is down in the description box below. So we're going to cut out this backing template and that's going to be the back of the beehive. Now the book is packed with so many projects and activities and we've really enjoyed going through them. And this was the grand finale to this entire bee unit. Now if you wanna see whether or not we end up getting bees in this beehive, check back at the blog post that accompanies this video because I will update whether or not we get any mason bees in the beehive, we're really excited about it, but we've only just hung it up in our front yard and it is the winter time when we are doing this so I'm not sure that we're gonna get a lot of bees at this time but we do expect them in the spring so once our beehive is basically formed we want to add the backing now all of this paper is waterproof so when you're using tape to tape everything together it recommends that you use duct tape while I didn't have duct tape I did have electrical tape and that's what we're using instead so that's the only thing that you want to make sure that is going to be weatherproof as well now the paper is not and those are going to be the tubes inside but they go inside in a way that should keep them protected from the elements. Now the book comes with several sheets of paper that you can roll into tubes for your beehive and this was the funnest part of the project but it was a little bit time consuming and it was a little bit challenging at first. Now you wanna roll all the paper into tubes, but you want the tubes to be of varying diameters. So we're using a pencil and we're just going to roll it into a tube. And at first it is a little bit challenging. Having a little bit of friction on your fingers or the paper does help a little bit, but sometimes if our fingers are too smooth, it made it really hard to start the roll. Uh, and then you want to make sure that it's of varying diameters. Then you wanna tape the end shut because you do not want to encourage any parasitic wasps to join your beehive and then you can just tape a couple other places throughout the tube and then once that's complete then you can start to add them into your beehive the book comes with far more paper than you will need in order to do the beehive so you will have extra paper especially since you're going to have these of varying sizes next you want to put all of those tubes into your beehive you want to make sure that it's nice and snug so if you do have leftover space go ahead and roll a few extra because you don't want to have any spaces inside so we made ours nice and tight and then the last thing you want to do is add a string so that you can hang it outside my son is using a little bit of twine in order to hang this up and once it's knotted we are ready to head outside and hang this up now the book gives some recommendations on where to place your beehive you want to make sure that it's not going to be in a high traffic area while this is near our front door we think that it's away from our path enough that it can encourage mason bees to use our beehive as a home now we are hanging this up in the winter and so i don't expect that there are going to be a lot of bees until the spring but we are going to leave this up and keep an eye on the progress and if you would like to keep up with the progress of our beehive head over to the blog post that accompanies this video and check it out if you want to check out some of the other tutorials that we have for our B unit study, you can tap on the screen right now. That link is also in the description box below. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video for more tutorials as well as information on this project. And if you want to see what our homeschool looks like on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.